I'm pleased to join all of you tonight as we recognize and reward some of our nation's best and brightest young scientists. Let's meet them now. Ayusha Log from the Harker School in San Jose, California. Ayush is the founder of Allergesy Inc., a corporation that seeks to implement a safe and accurate diagnostic test for food allergies. When he is not engaged in science, Ayush enjoys playing cricket with his brother. Adam Ardashar from Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology in Alexandria, Virginia. Adam aspires to attend Massachusetts Institute of Technology in order to study mathematics or computer science. His advice for students getting into science is, do something you have a passion for. And his life motto is, anything you can do, I can do better. Carolyn Beaumont from the Potomac School in McLean, Virginia. Carolyn hopes to use science to better people's lives and contribute to the effort to find life in the universe. She first encountered science at astronomy clubs and classes when she was very young. This developed into a passion. Grace Kai from Montgomery Blair High School in Silver Spring, Maryland. A lover of natural phenomenon, Grace traveled 500 miles to watch the total eclipse in South Carolina and hopes to visit Alaska to see the Northern Lights. Grace also co-founded the Code Girls Club at her school to promote computer science education for girls. Anjali Chada from DuPont Manual High School in Louisville, Kentucky. Anjali founded a nonprofit called Empowered Inc. that trains minority high school girls with technical skills and pairs them with minority women role models. In addition to science, Anjali has a deep passion for the humanities and loves to learn about music and art history. Liran Koting Ke from Crescenta Valley High School in La Crescenta, California. Liron's advice for younger students, always ask questions, even if they seem silly at first. You could be on the verge of something really cool. He plans to major in computer science and statistics and wants to start a technology company that tackles healthcare challenges with AI. Samuel Ferguson from West Windsor Plainsboro High School in West Windsor, New Jersey. Samuel hopes to study aerospace engineering to prepare for a career designing experimental aircraft. His dream job involves working on the new X-Plane program at NASA. His most important life goal is to see a plane of his own design take off on the runway. Vincent Huang from Plano West Senior High School, Plano, Texas. Vincent's advice to young aspiring scientists is, let your mind wander as freely as possible. He believes his passion in science has pushed him to try his hardest in any endeavor he takes on. Vincent wants to study applied mathematics in college. Anna Humphrey from T.C. Williams High School in Alexandria, Virginia. Anna loves cooking her family's traditional dishes like her abuela's flan. It is a way for her to connect to her Cuban heritage. Anna's friends describe her as a visionary. If something doesn't exist or work, she likes thinking about how it can be created or improved. Navami Jane from North Carolina School of Science and Mathematics in Durham, North Carolina. One of Navami's favorite pastimes is dancing. She leads her high school's Bangara Dance Group, which puts on performances for cultural festivals. She also co-founded Trophy LLC, a sustainability venture focused on repurposing pulp waste produced from cold-pressed juices. Ayush Karan 
from University School of Milwaukee in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. In addition to scientific pursuits, Ayush is interested in athletics. He is a second degree black belt in Taekwondo and an avid supporter of the Kansas City Chiefs football team. He believes the biggest threat facing youth today is lack of access to affordable education. Ananya Karthik from St. Francis High School in Mountain View, California. In her spare time, Ananya loves singing, rock climbing, and looking for new dining locations in the San Francisco Bay Area. Ananya plans to go to Stanford next year and hopes to one day advance innovation for social good. Preeti Sai Krishnamani from Charter School of Wilmington in Wilmington, Delaware. Preeti founded the Refugee Acculturation Program, a refugee education and empowerment nonprofit. She also attributes science and scientific research to helping her experience the thrill of discovering things through trial and error and solving challenging puzzles independently and confidently. Chirag Kumar from Horace Greeley High School in Chappaqua, New York. Chirag's life motto is, it always seems impossible until it's done by Nelson Mandela. His first encounter with science was when he was eight years old and attempted to recreate Galileo's Tower of Pisa experiment. Varun Kumar from Bergen County Academies in Hackensack, New Jersey. The hardest obstacle Varun had to overcome was moving to the United States from New Delhi at the age of 13. Varun intends to study molecular biology or global health in college, and he founded his high school's Oncology Olympiad team. Thomas Lamb from Syosset High School in Syosset, New York. Thomas hopes to attend Carnegie Mellon University to study mathematics. He either wants to work as a cryptographer for the NSA or become a math professor. He hopes to inspire others to take up math and to think creatively through his pursuits. Gabrielle Kylie Maylou from Ravenwood High School in Brentwood, Tennessee. Gabrielle believes the low number of women in STEM can be solved in elementary school. From a young age, girls need to know they have the capacity to do anything. Her motto is, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Ish Maheshwari from Herricks High School in New Hyde Park, New York. Ish is a magician and regularly performs for his family during their annual New Year's party. His dream job is one where he can embrace all aspects of medicine. He hopes to one day make a difference in the world. Sai Preeti Mamidalia from Garnet Valley High School in Glen Mills, Pennsylvania. Sai has wanted to be an astronaut since she was four years old. She knits, plays the violin, and founded her school's Society of Women Engineers Club. Sai will be attending University of Pennsylvania's School of Engineering and Applied Science in the fall. Natasha M. Maniar from the Harker School in San Jose, California. Natasha hopes to have a career solving the world's biggest healthcare challenges. She finds motivation in the benefits people will eventually reap from her work. Her advice to young people is that you are never too young. Young minds are the most creative. Braden Nicholas Milford from Keisha Hall Preparatory School in Tulsa, Oklahoma. After funding for science fairs was cut in Oklahoma, Braden started an organization called Oklahoma Students Advocating for Statewide Science and raised $50,000 to support the fair. Aside from science, Braden is a dedicated skier, likes to cook, and runs his own DJ business. Emma Joy Montgomery from Ossining High School in Ossining, New York. 
Emma has been told what makes her different is her inability to do anything halfway. She believes one of the most daunting challenges that her generation faces is climate change and believes we will need scientists to uncover solutions to the problems that are handed down to them. Ahmad Amin Perez from Brentwood High School in Brentwood, New York. Ahmad is an active member of his school's junior ROTC. He used to flip rifles for its armed exhibition team. He believes the biggest problem facing youth today is the passive attitude many youth have toward policies and laws that will affect their future. Brent Perlman from Byram Hills High School in Armonk, New York. Brent enjoys the peace that comes with hiking. He has backpacked all over New England and hiked through the Pacific Northwest and Scottish Highlands. Brent will be enrolling in the Vigellos program in Life Sciences and Management at the University of Pennsylvania. Kevin Changming Tian from Montgomery Blair High School in Silver Spring, Maryland. Kevin enjoys puzzles and is the organizer behind Puzzle Palooza Junior, an annual puzzle contest at his school. His advice to young scientists, don't settle on a topic you want to pursue too soon. Kevin didn't discover his research topic until midway through his junior year. Ronak Roy from Canyon Crest Academy in San Diego, California. Ronak hypes up his school's robotic team by wearing a narwhal onesie and dancing around during pep rallies. He thinks science has given him a unique way of looking at the world. Ronak hopes to attend either MIT or Caltech to study electrical engineering or computer science. Ashika Saxena from Interlake High School in Bellevue, Washington. Ashika founded a nonprofit called Take Knowledge to encourage young children to pursue STEM fields. Ashika was introduced to scientific research when in elementary school, she decided to water her family plants with different liquids to see which grew fastest. Ruhi Sayana from the Harker School in San Jose, California. Ruhi founded the organizations Girls in STEM and Inkspire, which aim to encourage underserved students to pursue STEM fields. She hopes to study molecular biology and computer science to work towards a career in pediatric oncology. Ruhi also enjoys hiking and exploring the local food scene. Daniel Edwin Schaefer from Montgomery Blair High School in Silver Spring, Maryland. In 2015, a lost homing pigeon landed in Daniel's yard and he adopted her. Daniel believes that watching her develop has helped increase his understanding of biological fieldwork. Daniel has been accepted into Carnegie Mellon University where he will be studying computational biology. Justin D. Schiavo from Roslyn High School in Roslyn Heights, New York. Justin spends his free time playing a space rocket building simulation game called Kerbal Space Program, which has taught him almost everything he knows about rocket science. He believes the biggest problem facing youth today is that enjoyment is being taken out of learning. Rachel Sievers from Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School in Lexington, Kentucky. Rachel is passionate about getting women interested in STEM and has started an outreach program called STEM Femmes that hosts after-school science programs for girls in elementary school. Rachel is motivated by the desire to be a role model for the next generation. Aditi Singh from Horace Greeley High School in Chappaqua, New York. As a child, Aditi went through an origami phase and can still fold a paper rose. She co-founded a creative writing club and contributes to her school newspaper. Aditi is fascinated by the human brain and plans to major in neuroscience. 
Amal Singh from Lindbrook High School in San Jose, California. Amal is a certified sailor and grew up sailing boats. He hopes to become a neurosurgeon and experiment with integrating technology into the human body to improve our experience. Amal's first research experience was attempting to solve California's drought while a freshman in high school. Julia Situ from Canyon Crest Academy in San Diego, California. Julia's motto is, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened, by Dr. Seuss. Julia relaxes by playing music. She plays piano and is teaching herself how to play the flute. Julia also founded a Leukemia and Lymphoma Society Club at her school. Madhav Subramanian from Jericho Senior High School in Jericho, New York. Madhav hopes to attend either Washington University or Stanford to study cellular and molecular biology. Through his work, he hopes to bridge the gap between scientific advancement and clinical employment. Madhav says he has a reputation for pursuing different passions, cricket, chess, guitar, learning languages, and vascular biology. William Wong from Oklahoma School of Science and Mathematics in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. William has been concerned about global warming since elementary school, and as he began to study more science, he realized that science is one of the best ways to combat climate change. William's dream job is to be Secretary of Energy. Zoe Weiss from Lakeside High School in Atlanta, Georgia. When Zoe found out she was a Regeneron Science Talent Search finalist, her hands were too numb from the cold to unlock her phone. When she finally defrosted and called back, she was ecstatic. She hopes to study computer science or applied mathematics and biology. Samuel Weissman from Harriton High School in Rosemont, Pennsylvania. Samuel is a fan of jazz music and enjoys playing his saxophone when there's spare time. He also listens to jazz when planning his experiments. He was introduced to research when given a copy of William Keaton's book, Biological Science, in third grade. Frank Shu from Brookline High School in Brookline, Massachusetts. Frank was inspired to pursue scientific research after meeting someone who suffered from polycystic kidney disease while volunteering at a hospital. He hopes to one day be able to come up with an effective cure for a disease. Madeline Yang from Detroit Country Day School in Beverly Hills, Michigan. Madeline loves playing improvised jazz music with her friends. She performed at Carnegie Hall in 2017 and 2018 and attended a Juilliard Music School Masterclass in March 2018. She hopes to attend MIT, Harvard, or Stanford to double major in chemical engineering and mathematics. Ladies and gentlemen, here they are. We present to you the 2019 Regeneron Science Talent Search finalists.